In today's Tech Check, there's a new type of security at international airports. Desert News colonist Amy Iverson says some airports are now actually asking travelers to scan yes. their faces. It's like, what's next, right? I know. So this is internationally. I don't know the latest, um, the last time you flew internationally, but now when you go, you do it <laughs> people, are going to, yeah, people are going to be surprised because they're doing facial recognition scanning. Okay, from, there's two things. Obviously their security's important, but there's your personal privacy. So mm -hmm. how do you feel about this? Well, that is some people's issue. Actually, Utah Senator Mike Lee has brought that up and he's wanting more details on how long are they keeping these folks photos and what are they doing with them and it's different whether you're a US citizen or if you aren't so if you're a US citizen supposedly they say we get rid of them pretty immediately if you're not they keep them and this is all going back to like more than 15 years ago Congress said we need biometrics of people who are coming into the country President Trump this year said get this done hmm. so now that's why it's expedited so it's been yeah it happened fast because I this is like I haven't heard of it until you mentioned yeah. it now and is it better than what we're doing right now? I mean, that's that's what they say, but that yeah. better is the key word because it just depends on how you... Well, they'll say t two reasons. Okay. One, this is already happening in some international airports, not Salt Lake yet, but it's coming. So um, they have already caught, this has only been in, in process for a few months, two people using fake passports. What they're doing is matching your face with the passport that you have given. So they caught two people using fake passports coming into the country, trying to come into the country. The other thing is it's faster. So at LAX, they're getting people on planes twice as fast as they are because you wouldn't believe oh here we're showing you right now on that video it is that fast you walk up boom you're in boom you're in at the boarding so you don't show your passport and your boarding pass at the gate that's wild I mean and that it makes a difference sometimes those lines can be so long is Salt Lake City do you think when is it gonna come here yeah, so it's in about 15 airports right now in some form mm -hmm. it is coming here I talked to the Salt Lake Airport they said within well within the near future it will be coming to some parts of this airport you know we're totally redoing the airport so when the new right. airport opens in 2020, it will be in the international terminals. All right, so we'll have to kind of wait and see what Most happens. Most important thing, Caitlin. Yes, tell me. People can know they can opt out. Oh, okay, so, mind blown right Yes, now. yes, so this is not mandatory if you're a U.S. citizen. So if you don't wanna do this, if you're nervous about your privacy, you can say, you have to notify an agent, say, I don't wanna do this, and they'll do you the normal way. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I think a lot of people will just do it not realizing they have the option. Under 14, d doesn't have to do it either. Okay, so you do have the option if yeah. you're a U.S. citizen yeah. and you can do it the normal way. It might take a little bit longer, but yes. if you're feeling nervous about privacy, you have you can have your self-decision there. Exactly. All right, thank you so much. Super interesting. We'll wait and see it at Salt Lake International Airport or That's beyond. That's right. And uh, your column. Yes, yeah, so desertnews.com slash Amy, and it should be up today. Amy Everson, thank you Thanks. so much for joining us. So awesome.